so as the title said we're recreating squid game so if you don't know what squid game is or you're living under a rock squid game is basically a game that when they say green lights you move when they say red lights you stop and if you don't they kill you and that's just it so yeah we're gonna recreate that game in this video so stay tuned fasten your seat belts and watch me do it So I'm finally here, yeah, some seconds before the challenge. Actually, I won't lie, I'm nervous right now. But anyways, we're gonna tackle this. Okay, so 13 minutes on the clock, and we're gonna hit play. Whenever we hit play, we're gonna start. As you can see, I already have my assets imported, so we're just going to, oh wow, we're fit to play. So yes, first off, we're going to make it to this scene. We're gonna save that, um, Control A, we're gonna make a time map, and we're gonna make a color rect. And inside the color rect is gonna be a timer. And under the node 2D again, we're gonna make a label, and inside that is gonna be a timer. And I think this should be pretty much the basics. Next thing is our player, so it's gonna be a simple kinematic body. Control, um, control A, collision shape, and we'll go over here. Just name this player. Control A again, sprite. So, so yes, collision shape. going to be a square simple square and our sprite is going to be our rounded square i guess then collision shape we're going to increase that a bit just feeling that yes save this player.tsc and add a script hit enter clear all this first of all make a variable m and it's going to be equal to a vector 2 and that's just going to be keeping track of our movements then a function physics process delta we say move m dot x it will be equal to input dot get underscore action strength ui underscore right um times 50 so 50 is our speed and we are not going to be moving left since um it's squid game okay so yes we want to move and slide um with m so i think we should be done with this guy next thing we're going to make is our enemy bullets so um the squid game as usual is going to shoot at our enemy uh, sure shoot at us anytime we misbehave so i'm just going to name this bullet control a um collision shape and sprite so the sprite is going to be this i'm just going to turn flip page on and over here in animations i'm just going to set these things nicely yes i think it should be good bullet.tscn we're gonna give it a square shape and we're just gonna size it nicely so yes over here the bullets we're going to on contact monitor and give it contact reports one i'm gonna add a script to it and we're going to connect the body entered signal so we want to check if the body is um the player so we say if body the name is equal to player then we're going to do whatever for now we just want to delete the bullet so we say queue underscore free so we we'll go back to the node and over here the time up we want to set up this time up really fast um cell 32 by 32 and tile sets add a new tile sets where is it world or png new single tile do all this stuff quick quickly we are running out of time already so i just want to put that there and um this color rect is going to be what is going to show us um, whether it's a green light or a red light so i'm going to give this a red color by default so i'm just going to drag that there so at the beginning we're not meant to be moving so under the node again i'm just going to drag in this s crate and this is basically going to be our enemy this is basically going to be that girl in <laughs> a squid game okay we're going to be that girl okay so we have another node which is going to be a sprite and we're just going to rename it gun and as a child of it we're going to have a position to the node um the gun is also going to be a crate because i don't know i don't have any assets for that i'm going to just drag it and put it over here yes 
So for the position 2D, I'm just going to shift that, let it somehow um, come out there. And yeah, I, should, I think everything should be good. So we'll go back to the gun and we're going to give it a script. Um, in gun.gd, we want to make a function called shoot. And here is going to um, have a variable player. So it's the player you are going to always be shooting at. So we want to first off look at player does global position. Then we want to instance the bullet. So what we say is var a equals to preload. I know this is going to be bad code, but I'm uh, <laughs> I don't have time on my side, so we're just going to preload it and instance it anytime we want to fire the bullet. So we say a dot global position to be equal to position 2d dot global position and a dot rotation should be equal to our current rotation and a dot um yeah um we want to get underscore tree dot a child sorry dot root dot a child a and before that we want to apply impulse so it's the a dot apply impulse um on vector two um this is actually going to be the middle of it and again another vector two which is going to have like 1200 and the x and zero and the y and we say dot rotated to the current rotation so yes i think we should be good with this um so we'll go back to the node 2d we're going to create the script for that and we we'll, first of all want to make a variable turn and this is just going to be keeping track of our red light and green light, green light. so by default it's going to be false so on the funk i'm um, sorry we're going to connect this timer signal this timer's timeout to it and this timer is going to be going off every three seconds and it's going to be auto start the reason why we're doing this is so that it's be changing between green light and red light so we say turn um sorry we want to change the color right dot color to be equal to green Sorry, if to be called to color the green if not torn else um, color the red. So yes, pretty much this should work and turn equals to not torn. Not torn. So yes, yeah, so, um, under the physics process function, so you say func, um, yeah, underscore physics process. I just hope we're not running out of time. And say if turn, okay, so if turn and player, sorry, yeah, we don't have a player yet, so we're going to instance that player.tscn in here. So if not player dot m dot x is not equal to zero, that means if we are moving, okay. So if we have turned and sorry, this is meant to be if not turned, and the player is moving, then we want to shoot him. Okay, so we want to say shoot underscore player and do that. So yes, here under the function shoot player. then we're going to use the gun the shoot <laughs> and here we're just going to be passing the player node after we shoot the player um also we want to um, end the physics process so we say set underscore physics process to false i don't know why that error is but i think it should be good to shoot oh we're not sure it should so yes so i think that should be it to note this label um first of all i want to go back to rect i want to give it a scale of like two and two here also and this label is basically going to be our timer this timer is going to be set to 60 and oh 
and anytime we um anytime we start the game we want this timer to be reset so we're just going to say underscore funk physics process okay then we want text to be equal to string value of the floor value of timer dot time left so this is just going to return the time left and yeah i think everything should be good so we're going to also connect this timeout down here so that if it times out oh my god <laughs> um disconnect this we're going to connect the timer to the label so that if it times out we want to just get underscore parent the shoot player yeah that should pretty work nicely um i want to drag my player down so that um it sit nicely there um i think i think that should be all okay no the last thing we have to do is we gonna create a control oh sorry a control a color rect and this is just going to be like the field screen so i'm going to increase this to um just cover the whole scene there i'm going to give it all black and reduce the alpha a bit yes i'm just going to rename this died and i'm going to cut, get a label and i'll just say you died i'm going to increase the scale to about a five and five put that in the middle and i should be good yes for the bullets anytime it touches the player then we want to just get underscore three dot current scene dot get underscore node and we want to get the died node and we want to show it so dot show and yeah we'll go over here and hide the died by default so I think we should be good with everything. Hmm. I think we're, we're weirdly we're good. And we have we still have one minute on the clock. So I actually did this in 12 minutes. But before we conclude, let's check it out first. Um yep, so many things are not working. Okay, so that worked actually. My player got shot when it was in red light, if you noticed. Um, the only thing that didn't work was here. Okay, I didn't have any gravity. So that's some kind of very simple code to do, which is just if m.y is greater, is less than or equal to zero, then m.y plus equals to 50. And yes, I actually did this in 12 minutes. So this is actually a simple squid game that I decided to make. This is basically that girl that um, was always shooting guys. And this is green light and I'm moving um, my box. This is the timer. I'm moving. If I mistakenly uh, move when the red light is going to shoot, shoot me and I say you died. So yeah, this is basically the squid game, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. If you want more videos like this, smash subscribe. You can go ahead and check my other videos on time challenges like this. If you have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments and goodbye.